Hi guys. Well, we decided to do a video which seems to have a recurring theme. That kind of got off to a bad start. The cat just left and I'll tell you why. That's connected to what we're talking about. But we decided to do a video on the truth of the dodos, which seem to be sort of cult dragons. And namely, yes, they are. Dodo, Dharapire, and Danavalis. But in the process of thinking about this video, I, I had, well, I had mangled a t-shirt of mine and decided to make it into a sort of a makeshift um, tank top. And I had decided to put the sleeve from the tank top on the cat and make it into a tube top for the cat. And the cat seemed to enjoy the tube top, but later on when it kept on slipping off, I decided to make it into a sort of a beauty pageant type of, what do you call that? Anyway, will you... Bandana? No, banner, yes, yeah. banner. I'll go get the cat, I'll show you what I'm talking about in a second. Uh, kitty is always an unwilling willing Oh, yes. As you can see. The kitty is... Well, no, you can't see the kitty running away from me. No. But he is. You have to lure him with food. I was actually thinking about this original topic of feeding dog food to Dada Pie and having him like clog up the toilet and fill up the base. Well, this would be with cat food, but I'm going to have to go get the cat food to lure Velvet. That's our cat. Yeah, out from under the bed because he has to participate in the video. It just must be but let's complex get... world. No, hold on a second. I'll be right back. Once he gets something in his mind. And the kitty does the run candy. for the oh, food yes. almost immediately. Ah, uh, 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 you can trap him. See, I wanted, I wanted everyone to see the beauty pageant banner I made for the cat. Yes, see that? Yes. Ah, uh, so it looks really very nice. Here, wave to the wave to the viewers. Ta ta ta. Ah, uh, so now you people, nah, uh, you know, Ghost was asking me if people are gonna think I'm weird. No. <laughs> yes, it meant. <laughs> Fuck that shit. Ah, uh, anyway, ah. Uh, oh no, he looks very good now. He's running around with it, like wearing it around his neck, like one of those. Yeah, yeah okay. Anyway. <clears throat> Entertainment. Sometimes. Okay, here's the truth of the dodos. Yes. I was looking at my uh, phone. And the first dodo, yes, he is an interesting dragon, and he will actually be available via breeding. Well, he is available. Yes. He always was available. He's hidden. Yes, he's hidden. Uh, so if you combine Hexed with Etzel, mm -hmm. you will get, for 50 fragments, which is actually very expensive for a blue tier dragon, dodo. Mm -hmm. And the point is, it's interesting because Hexed is the second dragon you get, mm -hmm. and Etzel, provided you can get his ass at all, is the 34th. But do not be disappointed in getting Etzel. Etzel in himself is a good dragon. Yes, he's a sorcerer dragon. He's mm -hmm. quite good. But this is for the junior players yes. that are out there. Mm -hmm. Who are out there. And he can freeze and like do shit. He's actually very small. So when you see him displayed on the screen, he's like... Very small. Very small. But he's a good dragon. Yes, he is a good dragon. Now, as far as Datapire, who's mm -hmm. the vampiric dodo... I have mine, and this will appear in the video, I have mine with rare and one epic rune mm -hmm. and glyph, and he hits up to about a quarter of a million. Yes. Danavalis, well, Danapire was no longer available as of the Black Bloods event of 2015, that's the second truth. I don't remember what the first one was, well, with the cat and Dodo, yes? yes. So the second truth is he wasn't available as of 2015 with the Black Bloods event, and people were predicting that they were going to... PG was going to bring him back for 2016 and Halloween, which they did not. They brought him back about a month and a half or two late. Yeah. And he was available via Hagen and Ruma, which yeah. was not the traditional breeding. However, mm -hmm. uh, well, as it turns out, you later... Could. Yes, go ahead. You well, no, 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 no. This is Dada Pyre. Yes, you could get Dada Pyre, but we were talking about Dana Valis, which was the first video we made, which was Dana Valis available via two breedings, not one. Right. And people didn't know that. And they had temporarily brought him back, and he required about 200 fragments. Mm -hmm. Now, just an FYI, Ghost could include a screenshot. My Donna Valis is at level 24 and hits mm -hmm. at 3.2 million, which is a reasonably powerful mm -hmm. dragon. 
and hers is a level 20 who hits at 2.3 million mm -hmm. and we will have various screenshots of the yes. various levels down of LA. But the fourth truth, maybe not the truth, but desirable outcome is that maybe PG can get off their ass and make a fourth, a fourth, yes, Dada Pyre or Danavalis or Dodo and we're thinking of actually making him a warrior, perhaps. Yeah, because when you have Danavalis, he summons Dodo, who is a warrior. Mm-hmm, that's right. And he breathes fire. So we're thinking of actually making the fourth Dodo, yes, yes. provided PG is going to make one, making him a warrior, a fire-breathing... Yes. Well, you know, they call him chicken, they call him turkey. These Dodos were originally done as a joke for Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. And the idea was they were supposed to look like turkeys. The truth is they don't really look like turkeys. No. Because his head, his neck, his face looks nothing like a turkey. It looks nothing like a chicken. Uh, it might look vaguely like a toucan, Sam, but his body is different. So he looks more like a pterodactyl type cross, like some sort of a feathered... Penguin? Penguin, okay. A penguin's body with some sort of a... Weird beak. Yeah pterodactyl like beak. But I do love the dodos. I actually have all three. I have um, the original dodo. Uh, he's, and you'll see this in the screenshots. Um, I have him at expert. He only hits at 61k at expert, but that's, you know, a blue tier dragon. Um, it's impressive, actually. Yeah, it's very impressive. I do not have the best runes on him, but they're all commons. I also have Dada Pyre at expert. Um, and he hits at expert at 234,000. Mine hits at 250. Again, it's very well. I'm just I'm doing it on retrospect. Yes, go ahead. But that is because he put better runes on him and glyphs. Absolutely. Um, and I just have commons and stuff on mine, so we'll show you the differences there. And then I have my Donavalis at level 20. He hits at 2.2. And again, I only have common and um, rare. Rare runes on him and I only have three each like two runes one glyph on each of them um, and they match specifically to the dragon it does give them a little bit of a boost but if you really want these dragons to hit the hardest you really should invest in some good runes and glyphs on them as you, you'll see um, you know he did this so much on with that and it really did impact the hit power of <laughs> Excuse me. One of the good things about the dodos is they have a freeze spell. Yes, and they yes. can freeze the island, and then you can, you know, basically remove things. And so my whole thing is that with dodo, they he can hit up to a level thirty base and clean up. And more, then, more. He can hit higher. Mm, dodo can hit higher than the thirty. Um, I say safely by himself. He can hit a thirty base um, and clear a thirty base pretty easily. Um, Dada Pyre, he can hit like a 50 to 60 level base he can easily. Hit than that. He's got a quarter of a million attack on But he hits that. that. What I say when he can hit a base, I'm meaning like they can clean up the whole base by themselves. Um, and uh, Donna Valas can hit into the hundreds. Um, sure, easily. Clean Depending up. on what level you yeah. have him at, yes. Yeah, yeah. And, I have him, and that's at a level um, 20. Mm -hmm. So. Again, once he's expert out, which I'm going to try to do, I've been distracted on because of all the other stuff going on. Um, but I'll get him to, to expert as well. Um, With the new leveling events, you will get points, and he would be a good tower dragon. But this is provided you got him at all. Yes. Again, the Dodos remain to be some sort of a cult-like figure dragon, and I can see why. They're very mm -hmm. interesting, they're quite different, and they're great dragons. I do hope that PG brings them back yet again without yes. as much of a hemorrhoid or a hassle or whatever to get them. Mm -hmm. But perhaps you can now bring in the fourth dodo yeah. and actually in put emerald. him into emerald. Yes, because the garnet here is filled up. Sapphire, well, sapphire sounds sapphire life. Mm -hmm. It's nice if you haven't gotten there yet, but once you get there, it's just no big deal. Mm -hmm. NBD, yeah, that's right. Uh, you might want to stick him into emerald and actually make a horned, yes, some sort of like, I don't know if you want to make him Dalmatian spot or a red on black, black on red, sort of like the opposite of that fire, the vampiric dragon. Maybe like a fire-breathing dodo, pyrovalis. Okay, so basically this video, besides me messing around with my cat, goes giving her input on her dodo, whom I don't have, but we both have Donavalis and Dada Pyre. Yes, we hope that these dragons will come back. Hopefully the breeding information was useful on mm -hmm. dodo. Again, you got to combine him with Hexed, who's the second dragon you get. 
With Etzel, who's the 34th and 33rd dragon you get. So it's quite a bit down the line, and he's the first epic. Uh, basically, that's it. So I hope this video was of some use. I don't know if it wasn't, but certainly it let us vent a little steam. Yeah. Dress if you kitty in some sort of an alternate garb. And guys, keep your eyes out. We will be doing other videos on maybe the three unsung or underrated dragons and why some dragons suck and specific examples of why. Yeah. So take care. We appreciate the patronage, and if you like our videos, please subscribe to our channel. Have a good one. Yeah.